Hello and welcome to another video. This is going to be my first tutorial. I just, this is like the third time that I have done it, but this is going to be the kind of, anim not the animation, but the cloth physics. This is how it's going to look at the end. So yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Because I can explain. Anyway, somebody on Discord asked me if I could do a cloth tutorial, and I said, yeah, so we're doing it. Okay, this time it's not just showing a blank screen. So now I can actually do it. Anyway, I'm just going to load in my rig right here. Delete these bits. And let me open a skin that will actually be useful. Not here. We'll just get this random one. And we're not going to be needing this. You're going to select your upper layer. If your rig doesn't have an upper layer, you can just select the body, duplicate it, and then scale it up a little bit. But this one does have an upper body, so we can just use that. So now I'm just going to put it over into the coat texture UV thing. Then I'm going to select all of the faces that I don't want to be there and just delete them. And also, we're going to delete this bottom bit because that will kind of mess with it and completely break it. And then we're just going to select that. And then turn the meat increased up to 1 so that we have a straight edge. Okay. There. And then let me actually add the little running animation on this guy right here. And so that's what it looks like right now. I forgot I'm going to need to... Duplicate it a bunch. Okay. I won't need that much, but I don't care. Anyway, okay. So now we are going to. I just select the part I want to keep, Control I, and then hide it all with H. And now I'm just going to go to the kind of. I don't even know what this tab's called. Object data tab. You're going to select add a new vertex group. And then you're going to select this top bit. That's in edge mode. This top bit, this area where the arm intersects. And then I just select this top row so that it doesn't interfere and get broken. Now I'm just going to sign. And now I'm going to unhide everything. And now I'm going to select the body. And I'm just going to go collision. So that the cloth actually interacts with this. And you don't really need to add it to too much. Probably just like the body, maybe the head actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Probably not the arms though. And just anything you want the cloth to hit add collision to it. I guess if you want to, if it was like a long dress or something like that, you could do legs, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, now we're going to go to the physics tab, go cloth, and we're just going to go down to shape, pin group, and add the group. Now I'm going to go to the cache. I usually go negative 5 for the beginning so that has frames where nothing's happening and it kind of because when you start a simulation like this usually it gets buggy for the first few frames so just go negative 5 and that will help get rid of that and then that's really it you can just bake it okay my timeline no, I'm forgetting something. So that kind of works. But it's kind of glitchy, like there's... So you could just make... Sh sh what? Shade smooth it, and while I'm here, let me just move this all 
into one little bit because that'll help but yeah it still has those kind of wrinkles it's kind of weird and I just go to here put the cloth above the subdiv no what am I doing don't do that go to here turn it to one it's gonna act weird but that's because the bakes weird so now go to here let's delete the bake or I guess bake it I don't know what I'm doing there okay and now that works a little better there's still some oh I forgot to add self collision okay so yeah go to collisions self collision so that it doesn't intersect with itself you don't really need to do that but you can if you just want to do that okay to bake it go to here okay let's just go to 24 because we don't really need anything other than that so you can kind of see it's getting a little glitchy and one way we could smooth that out is just go to modifier and add another subdivision and have this at the end I just do two or one you could do two if you wanted to make it look fine but you can just go shade smooth add one it doesn't really matter and now we have that uh, I guess we'll add it to 100 and I mean that's really it try and think of anything else so we'll let this bake um, about that and if something's kind of weird you can just mess with the settings if you want it to be kind of more bendy you can go to the resist the stiffness tab go to bending stiffness you can just go to point like three probably be good we'll let that run a little bit okay that's probably good and yeah now it's kind of bending and that's really it if they're going to be interacting with like a table there's like weird table I don't know why you'll have to add collision and then yeah baking can take some time but it, okay that's a little weird because it starts off inside of it so cloth physics can be weird just make sure to bake it before your animation is done and just watch it all the way through see if there's anything weird going on and if you don't really like how it looks you can just delete the bake and rebake it and get it until you like it and that's really it nothing else to say so bye